Hello, we propose to show you an Altivar process, the master-slave function. Today, several equipments require master-slave function. For example, very long conveyor, centrifugal machine or arbo cranes have two or more motors tied together. Let's have a look on Altivar process capability to manage the master-slave application with simple methodology and commissioning. Here is the bench we used to use on Altivar 71 showing the master-slave torque sharing capability. Today, one Altivar 71 simulates the load. This is done using an external resistor on its DC bus, and the drive is connected to motor at the bottom, assimilated as the load. The Altivar process is connected on motor at the top, motor 1 and motor 2. One is the master, the second is the slave. Objective of this application is to balance the load between two motors, and both motors are mechanically linked. On standard condition, with no specific setting on torque sharing, a huge difference can occur on both drives. Some torque sharing can be achieved using different methodology, such as slip compensation or master-slave, as used on Altivar 71, with a number of settings and cabling issues such as EMC, for example. Today, Altivar process will allow to simplify the cabling using a drive-to-drive -drive connection through the Ethernet cable and with simple setting on both master and slave. Altivar process allows choosing master-slave function on speed or torque management. Let's have a look on the settings. First one on master. The function activation, we choose the master or slave, and we choose the number of slaves. And secondly, the slave, we choose the function activation, we select the slave number, and the application is ready to run after a power cycle. Master slave function allows user to manage its multi-drive mechanical control. Different topologies are possible. Therefore, the installation is protected. For example, when a slave stops, the master will detect and also stop or not. This is an available setting. All the stop mode features are available as standard. Starting the installation, the slave is in run mode and it will start after the master will start. The torque value is now shown on Newton meters instead of percentage as it was before. The overall application is now running with a balanced load between both motors. This bench is on and now available for our trainings.